evening, everyone. I'm Andy Trinum. For 21 years, between 1978 and 1999, WHS 11 was also in the entertainment business, featuring everything from great food, that's a ham right there, to uh, great homegrown talent, that Terry Miners right there. <laughs> the 7.30 p.m. show had a lot of names and a lot of hosts, but it will probably be remembered best as Louisville Tonight. And I'm Tom Van Howe. Thanks for It was an era before cable's boom when local television was king. WHS 11 was covering local stories like no other. Every single story on that original Louisville Tonight was locally produced. They had a staff, a huge staff, like unheard of now. I, I, I think there were 12 or 13 people on that staff. Leah Bissick was an intern on the original Louisville Tonight. There I am in an editing bay. Some of the stories have a familiar ring. In fact, Louisville was battling a cruising problem even way back when. Only in 1981, the cruising was in Cherokee Park. For 11 years, Bissick grew up on that show. Intern, Intern. producer, talent. Yeah, yeah, there's the talent, the photographer, <laughs> the producers. Eventually, the photographers, producers, and talent got too expensive, and Louisville Tonight went off the air. It was replaced a couple of years later by PM Magazine and then PM Louisville. This was Terry, Terry Miners and Angie Humphrey, and they were so much fun to work with. There was never a dull moment. Hosts like, like Lydia Copeland, Dave Wilson, Tom Van Howe, Felicia Ferguson, and Jeff Anderson came and went throughout the 80s. I'm Felicia Ferguson. Hello, everybody. I'm Jeff Anderson. Now, stay tuned as the excitement continues to build right here on WHAS-TV Channel 11. Then in 1988, Louisville Tonight returned to the air live with new host John O'Connor. Wonderful John O'Connor. He was just great to work with. And the former intern, Leah Bissing. After writing what people had said for eight or nine years, I, I said to myself, I think I can try out for this. You know? One of the first big shows was one of the first live Thunder Over Louisville productions. I was a wreck because I had never done live. That was right when Louisville Tonight Live started. For years, treasure hunters have combed the sea. And big hair, big hair. A travel budget made the show a ton of fun, but being a hometown girl brought Bissig a flurry of feedback. I would get letters for people at beauty parlors. I can fix her hair, they'd say. I like big earrings and big hair still to this day. Leah hung up her hoops in 1992 when her daughter was born. Kirby Adams and eventually Bob Sokoler took over. And Melinda is joining us live right now. Hello, Bob and Kirby. I am Until in 1999, it went dark for good. I'm just a small town boy.